Hello everyone, today we are gonna see how to install multiple OS on your Windows system using VMware or VirtualBox. So we are gonna start by downloading VirtualBox. So go to this website called virtualbox.org. By the way, all the links are given in the description box below. So you can check it out from there. The download the latest version of the VirtualBox. For mine, it's VirtualBox 6.1. Once you go in there, it will basically show you multiple distros. So you can you need to choose the Windows one. Once the download is complete, open the file. So you will be prompted with the basic installation windows in which we never read the terms and condition and always click next, next, next. So yeah, just as I said, just keep clicking next. And once you reach this page, uh, you can basically remove certain icons if you don't want them so I usually prefer to have it only on desktop and start menu and not anywhere else so I remove it from the quick launch bar and then click next so once I hit install it will start installing it usually takes around two to three minutes depending on the speed of your PC and it will ask you to install several other drivers such as these just like click on always trust the software from Oracle and hit install so yeah it will it will basically ask you if you want to start the vm box right now so right now we don't want to do it once we download the other os files then we'll open vmware so just uncheck this and click on finish so the next step is basically downloading the os that we want so for this tutorial i'll be using ubuntu 16. so you can choose any of the Linux distros or any OS for that matter say even Windows 7 you can download those ISO files from Google and for this Ubuntu 16 I have given the link in the description so once you go into this website you will be shown a mul multiple download links you just have to go for the latest one that is this one it will be ending with .iso file just see the size it's 1.5 gigs so it's definitely a full-fledged iso file you can also find uh, mini versions which are like half the size but perform nearly the same for low-end systems but for this tutorial we'll be using this version so i'll download this version and meanwhile while it's downloading i'll show you what are the other flavors available for us so there are multiple flavors of ubuntu and each having their own unique specialities Ubuntu, Lubuntu and so on. I don't know why they keep names such like that. But yeah, you can even find other uh, ISO files. You can either go for torrents or go from the official websites themselves. We'll let this download and once the download is finished, I will get right back. So once the download is complete, we can move on to set up our virtual box. So once you open virtual box, you will be presented with this screen. If you have already created virtual machines, the machines will be displayed on the left hand side. Since this is a new installation, we will be creating a new machine. So we will start by clicking on new and it will give a prompt to choose the name for the virtual machine. We will set the name as same as the OS that we are installing that is Ubuntu 16.0. You can change the location of the virtual machine. So I have selected a folder right over there and you don't need to change the type it detects from the name of the virtual machine itself so it's Ubuntu right now 64 bit so we don't have to change that and here we need to set the memory that is uh, needed for your Ubuntu system this is the RAM that's going to be allocated this can be scaled up as much as you want depending on how much RAM you have at your disposal and how much of heavy tasker you are with your virtual machine so in my case, I'm choosing 2GB. For the next hard disk options, you can just click on create by leaving it on default options. And for the dynamically allocated uh, option, let that be on default as well since it allows you to expand your hard disk size depending on the usage of the virtual machine. I would recommend any size uh, more than 8.5 GB because your Ubuntu installation alone takes 8.65 GB so keep that in mind and uh, allocate extra spaces accordingly I'll be going with 12 GB so hit on create 
So before we make any changes to the virtual machine, we need to check a particular setting in your BIOS that if it is enabled or not. So the setting is called as virtualization. So if that is disabled, your virtual machine will not work. So you need to enable that. I'll show the steps to how to do it. So go into your BIOS by pressing F2. It, it varies from system to system. So check what's the key for your system. And once you go in there, just go into advanced and then click on CPU configuration. And when once you scroll down, you'll find Intel virtualization technology. Make sure it's on enabled. The UI might look different on your screen, but the settings are same. So you need to go into advanced CPU configuration and Intel, Intel virtualization technology must be enabled. So once that's done, you can move on to changing some settings. So click on the Ubuntu uh, virtual machine that you just created and hit on settings. So once the setting page is open, go to the general tab and hit advanced. Over here, you have to change both of these settings, shared clipboard, drag and drop to bidirectional. This basically allows you to drag and drop files from your primary machine that is your windows to your virtual machine that is ubuntu so that's all for general and now moving on to system you can choose the number of processors you want i usually like to keep it in between the red and red and green area so that you get enough performance you don't have to meddle with any other settings other than storage where you will be choosing your iso file so hit on empty click on the disk icon and choose a disk file so here you have to locate and choose the ubuntu or any other iso for that matter and hit on ok and once you click on open uh, it will bring you up to the screen and you can see as like ubuntu iso has been selected and successfully loaded into our virtual machine now just hit ok so at this point you have finished setting up your entire virtual machine all you have to do to start it up is click on start button since you are setting it up for the first time it will ask you to install uh, the os itself It does not scale up to whatever size you want that's an issue right now so how you can fix that is basically go into terminal and write this code in there and uh, this code will be provided in the description so you can copy it from there and hit enter so it will basically ask you for your password to install some package called as guest additions for Ubuntu just enter Y and hit enter. So it will download a package that allows you to scale up to whatever size you want in your virtual box. So after the installation has been complete, you can close out of the terminal and go into your devices tab on in over here and click on insert guest additions CD image. So once you do that, it will give you a prompt saying do you really want to install this right now or not. So just hit run and it will ask for your password again type in your password and hit authenticate it will fix the entire issue so we will wait for it to install and once the installation is complete we, ha we just have to restart this virtual machine and we will be able to scale it up to whatever size we want
Just have to hit enter and restart the system. So you can restart the virtual machine from there. And after you re after you restart the virtual machine, it will be able to scale to whatever size you want. So now as you can see, if I try to expand the window, it tries to scale back up to the size. It works and maximizes as well. So now your Ubuntu virtual machine is ready for you to explore on VirtualBox. So this is it for today and if you like the video, please do drop a like. And if you want to support the channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. And see you in the next one. Till then, peace out.